Hello, welcome to our movement today. We're going to try to just go in a little low state, um, rolling right from one thing into the next. So let's start on our mat in a child's pose. Let's put our knees super wide, big toes together, hinge it back. Settle those hips all the way on your heels and then reach your arms really far out in front of you and then kind of wobble your hips side to side. So this helps just get some movement in through that uh, low back, the lumbar spine. We can have issues there for sure. All right, and then let's just go ahead and settle. Drop your forehead on the ground and focus on your breath a minute. Just do whatever feels comfortable. Some of us like to breathe in and out our nose, in through the nose, out through the mouth, deep, normal, whatever feels good for you right now. Just take some focused breaths in and out. Spread those fingertips nice and wide and engage into the back. So flex your arms and feel those shoulder blades shove down your spine. Think about kind of hollowing out your armpits. All right, and from there, go ahead and push up onto your hands and knees. We're going to do a little wrist movement. Set your shoulders right over those wrists, fingertips nice and wide and spread out, and then your knees are gonna be right uh, underneath your hips. So go ahead and hinge back on your heels, curl your toes under now, and then bring your body up so that the shoulders come as far forward as they can, as your wrists are okay with. Hinge back, of course, through everything that we do, keep the core engaged, keep the back long, Pressure onto those wrists just until you feel that safe and healthy range of stretch. Keep it going back and forth. One more. And then this time when you come forward, stack those shoulders on the wrists. And then we're just going to uh, hinge the body to the right and then hinge the body to the left. And you can kind of play with your uh, placement of the shoulders. If it feels good to have the shoulders a little bit higher over your knuckles or over your fingertips, go there. If you need to keep it back a little bit, that's fine. You can stay back there. All of our wrists are in different spots, just like all of our bodies. So you go with what you feel happy with and what feels healthy for you. <clears throat> all right, and then we're going to just make a circular motion. So you can go counterclockwise. Hips go all the way back to the heels. Shoulders roll around. Go all the way around. We're going to go one more time in this counterclockwise direction, and then we'll go the other way. So from your hips, let's go the other direction, clockwise. Roll up and around, up and around. Doing these little wrist movements has been super helpful for getting my wrist back into full range of motion after spraining it a few months ago. But definitely know that limit, you know, you've got to got to stop at some point. You can't keep pushing through pain. Sometimes it's good to back off. All right. So from here, we're going to go ahead and point your fingertips back towards your knees. So the shoulders are going to start up over those wrists and then slowly let your hips drop back. Your wrists may come up off the mat. That's fine. Just get a stretch through those forearms. Go ahead and come forward, release that, pull a second, and then come back. And then forward, and then open your hands out to the side and just lean side to side real quick. Couple there. And then now we're gonna pull those hands under. So bring your hands just a little closer to your knees because you don't wanna put too much pressure in this direction, especially after we've had the hands flattened, palm on the ground for a while. At least for my wrists, I need just a little bit of ease into it. Get that stretch to the top of the forearm, to the back of the wrist. All right, bring your hands up, wiggle your fingers, 
Shake out those wrists. Up and down and all around. We're going to hinge back into that child's pose again. Extend those arms out. Flex into the back. Flex into the triceps. Take a nice deep inhale. With your exhale, curl the toes under. Push your hips up and back. We're going to go into our downward facing dog. Spread those fingertips nice and wide. Press your chest back toward your thighs. If you're not able to do this for whatever reason, it might be too much pressure on your neck, too much pressure on your hands. Drop onto your knees and just hinge back this way. I think this is called a puppy pose. So keep the knees on the ground. <clears throat> Otherwise, if you're still with me, let's drop one knee and then the other. Take your time, couple seconds each side. Really get that movement, that stretch, straightening through the one leg and then the other. Contract through the core, slide those shoulder blades down the spine. This should feel good. Space opening on your upper back. Grab through that core. Separate your feet just so they're about hip width. Press back a little bit longer, that chest towards your knees. Bend your knees a lot. Get your chest a little bit closer to your thighs. And then grab through the core, press the heels back down. We're going to shift forward into a plank position. Feel free to drop onto your knees. Just one deep inhale there. Flex through those glutes. And then we're going to drop all the way down. Squeeze your elbows in. Drop all the way down onto your belly. Take your left arm parallel to the front of the mat. Grab your right foot with your right hand if you can. And then just pull that heel down towards your thigh, stretching through that quad. I think my elbow's a little far away. So you want that elbow right under the shoulder so you can kind of build a little traction in the upper back as well. Get that back extension, that upper back opening. And then play around with your back hand also. So the more that you can push or rotate your elbow kind of up toward the sky, and the more you can get a chest opening. Flex your tail or flex your butt, kind of point your tailbone down toward your back foot. So you're protecting that low back. And then slowly release here. All right, we're going to build in just a little bit of work, just a little bit of strength from your knees or from your toes. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. Curl the toes under. Tailbone tucks, belly strong. Push all the way to your plank and then to your down dog. Take a nice deep inhale. A nice deep exhale. And then we're going to shift back forward. Same thing. You can drop onto your knees if you would like. Tuck that tailbone. Feel the core engage. And then squeeze the elbows in as you drop all the way down. Release your feet. Put your right arm parallel to the front of your mat. And grab your left foot with your left hand. Stay gently flexed in through the core, in through the glutes. Open that chest. Kind of push into the elbow. Find traction there. Play around with the direction of the hand. Your fingertips are kind of pointing down towards your ankle. You can open that shoulder a little bit more. But you find what's right for you. Check in with the neck. Make sure you're not collapsing there. Kind of actively push that quad into the ground. Belly strong. Open that chest. There's a lot of stretch and opening extensions going on here. All right, slowly release that foot. <clears throat> Press your hands, bring your hands back along your rib cage. slide your elbows toward one another, curl the toes under, or come up on your knees, that's totally fine. Belly strong, push to your plank position, back to your down dog. Slide those shoulder blades down the spine. Let's take a deep bend in the knees. Let your chest drop back. towards your thighs, and then drop those heels down to the ground. Take another deep inhale. With your exhale, we're going to come forward again. On your knees or on your toes, squeeze the elbows in. Drop all the way down. Release your toes and grab your hands behind your back. So see if you can interlace your hands. If you're not able to, just grab a towel 
or something where you can let that happen. And then push your knuckles away from the shoulders and then lift the knuckles off of the hips. Tuck your chin, pull those shoulders down your spine. You're finding squeeze and flex on the back. If you would like, you can lift your right leg and then drop it, then your left leg and drop it. Keep the glutes strong. Lift your right and lift your left. Keep pulling that upper body up, but try to engage the core. Even though you're laying on your belly, lift the right leg and then lift the left. Okay, release your arms. We're gonna put them way out in front of us. Just take a second here, drop your forehead on the ground. Tuck that tailbone under, still. Kind of gently push those triceps into the ground, still. And then bring both arms back along your side. Curl those toes under, squeeze the elbows in. We're gonna get another push up. Ready, set, either on your knees or on your toes, all the way up. Drive the hips back. I'm liking that bent knee, so bend those knees, push the chest back towards your thighs, and then straighten. Keep driving into that thumb and first finger. Slide those shoulder blades down the spine. Hollow out your armpits, if that makes sense, hopefully. Belly strong, we're going to take our right leg, lift it up as high as you possibly can. So get a little extra stretch in that supporting leg. And then we're going to come forward into a pigeon. So the right leg, the right knee, is going to tuck up toward your right wrist. And then just try to pull your right foot up towards your left hand. From here, you just walk the back knee back and lower into that pigeon. Square off those hips. I know we hit a lot of these. They're just so good. We're going to hold a couple more breaths, and then we're actually going to do a pigeon push. So we're going to stay on the same side and get five basic kind of a somewhat floor push-up, a pigeon floor push-up to down dog lift. So if you prefer to just stay in the pigeon, that's fine, or you can stay in a down dog. The rest of us, drop your chest kind of right over that thigh, curl the back left toes under, push your body back up, and then lift the right leg up. Then we're gonna come right back down, belly strong, bring the right knee, right wrist, toe comes under. Here's two, push up, grab that core, Keep the core nice and strong. Make sure you use your back, not your neck and shoulders. Pull it forward, drop it in. We have one more. Pull it forward, drop it in, and push it back. All right, we're going to switch to that other side. Drop the right heel on the ground. Left leg's going to lift nice and high. Get a little stretch. Pull the left knee to the left wrist. Pull the left foot to the right wrist. And then walk it down. So that back knee, walking back, that's your key. That's how you get kind of the hips toward the ground. But we remember, we want our pelvis squared off. So dropping that right hip down toward the ground, your left hip may come up a little bit. That's okay. Keep your stretch here. And then feel free to stay in pigeon if you would like, or you can stay in a down dog. The rest of us push into that hand, curl the back toes under, lift that left leg. Core strong, you're shifting forward, pull the leg through, drop and then push. The elbows will kind of flare out. Drop the chest in, push up through those hands, use the core. Here's three. Hips drive up. Push through the back. I kind of have to watch my shoulders. Don't round in, but keep them. 
slid those shoulder blades sliding down the spine. Last one. Drive those hips up. Foot comes up. Drop that foot. Let's bend those knees a lot. Drive the chest back. And then go ahead and drop your knees all the way down. Keep your feet close together. Hinge back into that child's pose. Um, put your forehead on the ground and go ahead and wrap your hands behind if you can. Maybe you can grab your wrists or fingertips behind your hips. Take two deep breaths in and out here. Okay, release your hands. Bring them back forward. We're going to go back up into our downward facing dog. Open your feet super wide, probably maybe even off your mat, and then slowly walk your hands as your knees squat, as your knees bend and your hips squat down. So we're just going to take our nice low open squat. If you're up here, that's okay. You just find wherever you have getting that opening into your hips. Job. All right, drop onto those knees. We're going to twist over onto our back. Both legs are going to tug in. <clears throat> Grab those knees toward one another, tug in nice and tight. Try to relax. This is where I always get my hip flexor pop. So just let it give it time. Okay, lift your knees nice and high. Pull those legs towards you just a bit. Flex the feet down toward the chest. Bend your knees again. Now the knees are going to open out to your armpits. Spread those knees wide. Open those hips. Push the legs up straight. Flex the toes. Get through the back of those legs. Pull the toes down. And then again, pull your knees wide. And then this time I want you to straighten one leg and then the other. So just straighten your right leg, straighten your left leg, out at an angle, right and left. Bring your legs back together. Uh, your hands are just underneath your knees, and we're going to kind of rock and roll and stop in a balanced position in our boat. So go ahead and start by holding behind your legs. Scoop through the belly. Contract into that core and hold here. If this is enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, try releasing the legs with your hands. So the hands just come forward, flex it in, belly strong. If this is enough for you, stay here. Otherwise, drop one heel, bring it back. Left heel, bring it back. Go three rounds each side. Whole goal is to find balance and control through that core. There we go. Grab around the knees, hug it in tight, roll it back down nice and easy. And then we're going to go into a glute bridge. <clears throat> Push those hips up, grab through the glutes, of course, but then we're also getting ex uh, extension, expansion, opening into those hip flexors. So push through those knees, <clears throat> drive your hips up. Let's go ahead and grab our hands underneath the hips. <clears throat> so you kind of fold your shoulder blades toward one another, open the chest. But watch that you're in control of that core. So don't just over arch the low back, really. Use those glutes to lift the hips. <clears throat> Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay, unwiggle your arms, put them wherever you'd like. We're going to take our right foot and cross it over the top of the left knee, letting that right knee drop toward the ground. Let that hip flexor get a little stretch. And then drop your hips all the way down. Let's pull from behind that left leg deep into the chest. Flex both feet, push your pelvis and your shoulders evenly into the ground. Hopefully, you're still. I kind of got twisted. Hopefully you're still squared off. 
So each leg is evenly, each hip bone is evenly on the ground. Drop that left foot, arms come out in a T, and then drop your right foot over the body. Hopefully you cut those hips squared off. Okay, bring it back up. Go back up into that glute bridge for me. Drive through those heels. We'll grab our hands underneath the hips again. Wiggle your shoulder blades toward one another. Drive through those feet. Feel that lift in the hips. Flex into the glutes. Pull the knees toward one another. Now lift your left ankle. Drop it on top of the right knee. Let your left knee drop out away from you. You can release your hands. Keep those hips up. Burn in a little in the right glute and then getting that opening in the left. Drop the hips down nice and easy. Grab behind your right thigh, flex both feet, pull deep into the chest. And then put your right foot back down. Make sure you're all squared off on the mat so both hips are in the ground to start. Arms open out in a T. Drop the left foot away from you and then let the left knee open down away from your body. All right, grab through that core, bring the legs back up to center. Extend both legs long onto the ground. Arms reach up overhead, take a nice deep inhale. And then an exhale. An inhale. And then with our next exhale, we're gonna do a slow roll up. So tuck your chin, bring your shoulders up off the ground. Arms are gonna reach forward. Legs stay straight, extend all the way over those feet. Pull the feet back towards you, reach over those legs. And then release. All right, we made it. Feeling awesome, good work. Nice little flow through some mobility and movement. You guys are doing great. I'll see you next time.